Right. Hi there. This um, live webcast is about grouping and displaying data. So imagine you've got some data. We've got uh, it's all in millimeters here, and somebody's measured something, and we need to bring this data into a a fashion. So we need to get it into a table. So what we do here, we have a quick scan of the data, and uh, we try and spot what we consider to be the smallest and the largest values. So looking across the data, it does appear, I'm just scanning this now, 66 seems to be about the smallest and 94 seems to be about the biggest. Now what we don't do is do a table going from 66, 67, 68, all the way to 94, because that'd be too long and would take too, uh, take too long. Right, so the best thing to do is to put it into groups. So here's one I made earlier, and group sizes need to be either going up in fives or tens, ideally for this data. You want between about three, uh, three, four, five, uh, between four and eight categories. Now I've got six categories. It's going up in fives. I like the look of it. Right, what we do now, once again, we don't try and slot the data into the category um, one at a time. Instead, we would get our pen and we would cross it out one at a time. So 66 obviously goes in that category, 78 goes in that one, 74, 83, 68, 84. Now, this next one, is the one to watch out for 75 because the problem that we've got is some there and 75 appears there only one is the correct category well let's make this a little bit easier shall we let's get the right pen this category here means 71 72 73 74 and it includes 75, it includes 75 as well because of that sign there. So we can now get back and we know that 75, let's just do one more to make sure. So say we'd gone further on and we get to this one here, you've now got to decide does it appear in this category or this category and the correct one would be the first category here so pop that one in right we would carry on doing that until eventually we cross out all the data all this would be crossed out and we tally ticks into numbers And a good mathematician would check that all those numbers would add up to the same number of numbers that appeared here. Now we're now ready to put our data into a frequency diagram. And the best way to do this is a grouped frequency bar chart. And we can see that our bar chart on the x-axis must go between 65 and 95. And on the y-axis, it must go as high as 14. So there's my data. Sorry, there's my uh, axes. And uh, the length in millimeters is always along the x-axis. And the frequency goes up the y-axis. So looking back at my data, heights to be 6, 14, and 10 so i'll do them three at a time so i'll get my shapes here there we go the shapes so the first one goes between 60 and 70 goes up to six let's just check what the other one 14 10 so the next one goes up to 14 Next one goes up to 10, back, so 11, 6, and 3. So 11, 
six, and three. Now, when you're doing this, you would uh, ensure that there are no gaps, no gaps whatsoever between the bars. You can see I'm highlighting the gaps that I've created. And you would also ensure that each bar width is exactly the same. Now, you could finish this off what's called a frequency polygon. And a frequency polygon is like a helicopter landing pad at the top of each of these skyscrapers. And that's where the helicopter would land. And then you draw, oh, I need a ruler for this or it's gonna go all wrong. I'll use that. You would then draw without the arrows on the end, straight lines between each helicopter landing pad. And there is your frequency polygon. I hope that helps.